Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another tutorial for you today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about um, break statements and then also switch commands, which is kind of sort of like another uh, looping option, except it's not a loop, but uh, it'll allow you to respond to different scenarios. Let's say if you had like 50 different scenarios, um, you could do a switch clause and build different cases for those individual scenarios. All right, so um, first we're gonna start off with just a single button. As you can see, we've named it run command. Um, and then we're gonna go back into our main activity. I've already set up the button. I've initialized it and set the on click listener to be to run this command called the command. Uh, let's set up another for loop. Okay, so we have our for loop. What this is going to do is it's going to start by start at zero, stop when it reaches ten. Oops, let's undo that. Stop when it reaches ten and increment by one. Okay, so <clears throat> let's actually do something. So let's go to our log.i. forget to import your statement or import the android.util.log all right and what this will do is this will log i at every single point from 0 to 10 without counting 10 because we stop at less than 10 all right so now let's put in our break statement and if i is equal to let's pick a number that we know it'll it'll run into so let's pick 3 so if i is equal to 3, break. Now this will stop our loop. And when we run this in the emulator, our loop was stopped at 3. All right. So let's uh let's do something else. Let's try instead of break, let's do continue. What continue does, it'll stop at this at, at, at three. You can do something and then continue on afterwards. Uh, so this actually will not log three. And there you go. Two and three two and four. There's three skipped. All right, so let's do something else. Let's uh, let's create um, a case scenario. So we'll use a switch clause. So switch. What do we want to pass into this switch clause? Let's say I. So for each scenario we want to pick in here, we'll do case. Uh, let's start with zero. Let's log that, log that I testing I is equal to zero. Break case. Uh, let's do three. Log that I testing. And then for everything else, we'll do a default. So default. And we'll just say log, log that I. I does not equal zero or three. So you've changed up what we're doing here. We're going to actually have this phrase here pop up uh, populate eight times and this will pop up once and this will pop up once in order so let's clear this let's run it so 
See, i is equal to zero. i does not equal zero or three. And i is equal to three. And then finishes off with i does not equal zero or three. So this is a switch clause that allow you to, let's say if you wanted to respond to uh, user input, you had a, um, a text or edit text and they, uh, you wanted to ask the user a question and they respond back. You could actually plug in a switch clause for that, uh, that response and respond back certain ways. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So as I was saying, let's say you had user input and you wanted to respond back like you asked them a question, like a yes or no question, you could build a switch clause to be yes or no. Uh, like case um, where this text equals yes or where text equals no. Um, and a default one, if they didn't say yes or no and they put something weird in there, say, I don't know what you're talking about. You could totally do that with a switch clause and that'll kind of blanket you for what you're looking for and what you're not looking for. Um, so these are little scenarios. I just wanted to um, show you how you could easily use one of these or um, the break and continue. Now it's important for you to do the um, break um, for switch clause because uh, if you don't, it'll just go on to the next case scenario. So uh, what this does is it's checking each time to see if that equals it. Since we have it in a loop, um, you know, it'll just go on to the next one and see which which one it falls under and then go again and then again and then again. And we do this 10 times. So I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to respond in the comments below. Have a good day.